What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Swift video. In today's video, we're going to learn how to build a Twitter-like splash animation in SwiftUI. So it was a little fast. Hopefully y'all caught that, but basically it's what you see when you open up the Twitter app, you get the bird zooming in. We'll talk about, you know, like how to adjust this animation, customize it to your needs, make it faster, slower, and actually make a totally unique animation. So if that sounds good, make sure you start by destroying the like button down below. If you haven't subscribed, definitely hit subscribe while you're at it. Lots of you guys watch every video, but don't hit subscribe. So definitely hit that button so we can keep growing together. That all said, let's get into the video. All right, we're going to get started by opening up Xcode and creating a new project. We'll stick with the app template under iOS and let's go ahead and give our project a name of Twitter. You want to make sure your language is set to Swift. Your interface should be Swift UI and your lifecycle should be UI kit. Go ahead and continue, save the project wherever you'd like. And first things first, we're going to close the right panel here and we're going to bring in this Twitter logo that I just grabbed from Google Images so we can actually build out our effect here. So we're going to jump into our XE assets. We'll go ahead and right click and hit new image set. And I'm just going to go ahead and call it logo. Let's go ahead and drag it into the one X spot. And once we've gone ahead and done that, we can go ahead and just expand our Xcode window and we can jump back to our content view. Now, before we go ahead and hit resume on the right hand side, let's go ahead and change the preview device, maybe a 12 Pro Max. Go ahead and hit the resume button on the right hand side. Might have to do it once or twice. There it is. Awesome. So let's actually get into building out this effect. So the premise behind it is your launch uh, screen should match basically your initial UI in your app. And once your app actually loads up, you're just going to animate it. So what we're going to actually do first and foremost here is we're going to create a Z stack. And uh, our Z stack, what we actually need are uh, two Z stacks. So let me actually create a V stack here. And we want two Z stacks. The topmost Z stack should essentially uh, allow us to show the animation and the Z stack below it will actually hold our content. So both of these should also be nested inside of a Z stack. So this one is going to be for our apps content. And this one will be the kind of splash screen animation goodness. So just for the sake of uh, our video today, let's add some content in here. I'm going to go ahead and add just a image with a system name. Uh, let's go with a house. We'll go with resizable. Let me just make it a little larger so we can actually see once we transition from our animation uh, to our actual uh, primary content. So there uh, is our house. It's looking a little weird because we want it to be a uh, scale aspect uh, to fit. So you could use the aspect ratio modifier and tell this to go ahead and fit. So now we know we're on the home content here. I'll just throw a label right below it. All right, there we are. There is home and we'll go ahead and give this a system font with a size maybe 42. So there is our actual content. The next thing that we actually want here, and let's see, so it looks like our home is on top of it because this is a V stack. So what we're going to want to do in here, let me just place all of this stuff inside of a vertical stack so it's not on top of each other. Uh, so let's see, let's go ahead and uh, hit command B. Let's see where our content actually showed up. We can just stick with the text for now. It's not particularly important how this is situated. Let's go ahead and hit resume one more time. Bear with my preview device here and there is our house. So cool. So now that we've got the Z stack here, what we want to do is we want to use this Z stack to actually show a splash screen. So with the Twitter splash screen, the first thing that we want to do is have a color which takes up the uh, entirety of our UI. So I've got the hex here for the uh, Twitter color. So what I'm going to actually go ahead and do is define it up here. I'll go ahead and say color is going to be a UI color because we're going to create it with uh, red, green, blue, RGB. And each of these we're going to divide by 255. So I'll just go ahead and copy and paste that to each of these. And let's go ahead and grab the values. Looks like they are 29, 161, and 242. 
161 and 242. I just googled these, you can go and grab them yourself. And now what we can do down here is we can say go ahead and use this color. And now if our preview device decides to cooperate here, we will see this turn to our blue color, hopefully momentarily the preview device is kind of a pain sometimes because you have to hit rerun or resume like three times but there's our blue color looking pretty good uh, the other thing that we want now here is our image so we brought in an image and we uh, titled it logo in our xc assets so i'll go ahead and bring that in we're going to make it resizable we're going to also give this an aspect ratio to make it fit and i'm going to give this a frame as well so we'll maybe say 85 by 85 if, if that's too small we can always uh, go ahead and make it a little bigger so there is our twitter logo so the first issue i see here is uh we want the blue background to take up the entirety of the bounds of our screen ignoring the uh insets the safe area so there is a modifier for uh, ignoring the safe area. We can actually go ahead and specify, you know, what do we want to uh, ignore? And we can go ahead and say, go ahead and ignore all the edges. So this is our splash screen now. Now this is, of course, on top of our home that we added, but now we want to actually work on the fun part, which is the animation. So to hold the state of the animation, we are going to want a uh, state property up here. We're actually going to want two, but let's start with the one. So this is going to be uh, animate, and this will be a Boolean, and by default it's going to be false. Now essentially what we're going to say is, once our primary vertical stack here appears, we can go ahead and say on appear, whoops, on appear, we want to actually perform something. And we can shorthand this since it's just a block. We are going to say after about one second, or you can actually make it a little uh, lower than that, we can say uh, async after now plus maybe 0 0.3 seconds. Go ahead and toggle that state property. So I'm going to go ahead and say animate.toggle. Now, what do we want to actually change with the animation? So the first thing we want to do is we want to scale the uh, actual uh, Twitter logo to be larger. So we can go ahead and say scale effect. And here we can actually specify a, a scale effect floating points. So we're going to say if uh, animate is true, we're going to say three. Uh, otherwise, we're just going to say maybe one. So if we actually go ahead and uh, run this in a simulator, what you'll notice is when uh, our app actually boots up and it appears, it will actually go ahead and scale up our Twitter logo. Now, we're not entirely done yet because we also want to you know, get rid of the blue background, but let's see what this looks like, at least as a starting point. So bear with my simulator here. Right now, we don't even have a launch screen, so it starts off white, which is not what we want. We're going to fix that as well. So bear with me. Everyone cross your fingers. But all right, looks like it gets much larger. Um, but it's uh, it's not large enough. So we'll go ahead and actually maybe make this like, uh, I don't know, let's go ahead and make that 10 and let's see what that looks like. You got to play with the number a little bit uh, to, you know, meet your needs, but it looks like it gets really large and it's a little too fast. So the other thing we're going to add on here is we're going to add the animation modifier and we can say this is an animation and you can specify, you know, what type of animation do you want? I'm going to say this is going to be an ease in animation and it's going to take two seconds. So if we go ahead and run it again, you'll be able to actually see it much better now. You can see it's actually scaling up. It's a little too small. I don't like it too much, actually. We'll make it one, maybe. And we'll want to bump up the scale factor here to maybe 20. And uh, before we actually run it again, you noticed that the launch screen wasn't actually set up yet. So we can jump into the launch screen dot storyboard here. And the first thing we want to do is change the background color here. So we have uh, the background. What we can do is at the bottom hit custom here. We can type in our RGB values. So I think it was 61 and 129 and maybe 242. Let me just double check those numbers. So, yep, 29, 161, and 242, so this should be 161, and this should be 29, looks like I got those mixed up. 
All right, just like that. So there is the background color we expect to see when the app launches, but we also wanna show the Twitter logo while the app is actually loading up. So we can go ahead and hit plus. We're gonna grab a image view, we'll drop it on in. First things first, we wanna go ahead and assign the actual image to it, which is our logo here. And we wanna use constraints to actually pin it in the center. So we can hit this and say horizontally and vertically in center. Now it's way too big, we want the size of the the actual image to match the uh, view size. So I think we used 85, so we'll use 85 here as well for both width and heights. And the idea is if we go ahead and give this a run now, what you'll notice is the app will actually launch with this UI. So as soon as it gets to our animation phase, it looks like a seamless transition. Now obviously we don't wanna just leave it like this because this is a little silly. So let's go back to content view and clean this up even more. So let's see, what else do we want to do in here? Well, I'm gonna close that right panel so we can actually see our code. Let's go ahead and increase our uh, scale factor here to 30. Now, of course, you can actually animate the width and height as well. It's a little subjective what you animate, but we also want to uh, animate out the opacity of this whole Z stack once our, uh, our Twitter bird has animated uh, to be larger. So we can actually say on here, uh, we also want a animation. Now it's going to be a default and we are going to actually use the opacity modifier. Now instead of uh, using the same animate states, we're gonna go ahead and use another state because we only wanna fade out the splash Z stack once the animation for the bird is kinda done. So we'll go ahead and uh, make this show splash and by default, it's going to be true. And what we'll go ahead and do here now is we're gonna say if it shows splash, we'll say opacity is one, otherwise it's going to be zero. And we're gonna do something similar here, but we're gonna dispatch. Uh, instead of after 0 0.3, we can do it after maybe one second. We can go ahead and say show splash dot toggle. Uh, and basically, uh, the reason we're using one second here is to allot a little bit of time for the Twitter bird to actually uh, go ahead and animate up like that. Now, uh, it looks a little slow in terms of the actual bird animation. The other thing I don't like is how fast the opacity of this actually uh, kind of changes because it looks a little, a little janky. So what we could actually do is instead of using default here, you can go ahead and say that we want a linear animation. So animation, let's go ahead and spell that correctly, animation dot linear and what we want is we want linear with a duration maybe we can do like 0 0.4 or 5 it's a little subjective you really got to play with the numbers to get what you want but it's looking pretty good the twitter bird should probably scale up more and it's a little slow to actually animate so for the actual image here instead of using maybe one second Try toning this down to uh, 0 0.7 and you can take a look at you know what effect that gives you uh, I still think it's a little slow because we have ease in for the animation style. You might want to make this a ease out. So you can actually tweak this and, you know, really play with it to get the effect that you want. So that's looking pretty good. I think we need to actually bump this up. So I'm going to go with 50 just to make it something really large so it uh, scales quite a bit like that. So it's looking pretty good, pretty decent. So that's an overall premise of how you can get this working in SwiftUI. It kind of stops halfway through, so let's try one more thing. So let me comment out this uh, show splash toggle and let's see the ending point of this animation. So it looks like it ends there and uh, it looks like this whole thing is taking uh, 0 0.7 seconds. So either we make it faster or we tone this down. So let's bring the 50 down to 30 so since it's not scaling as much it should be faster but you can see it stops just about there which is not exactly what we want we want it to zoom in all the way to the white uh, so once we fade out it looks like you know we zoomed into the bird so we'll say 50 i'll actually make that 0 0.4 and let's see uh, how how that ends up looking because it has more to scale it'll actually zoom in faster and I think that actually looks nicer. So let's go ahead and uncomment this and give it a run. And uh, let's see what this looks like. So boom, like that. And then we finally zoom in and there is our home. Now in the actual home here, I recommend you abstract this view to be you know, something else. Uh, you can perhaps give it a background color just so you can actually see you know, your home view show up. 
uh, for the sake of uh, you know seeing the fade. But there is uh, there's home. So uh, that's all I've got for you guys today. So a bit of a quicker video. I saw this animation. Uh, someone actually requested how to do this in Swift UI. And uh, you know a lot of these apps use these animations. And I thought it would be a cool little video for today to show you guys how to do this. Using these intro animations has become more and more popular by some apps. It's a little subjective if you know you want to make your user wait to show the primary UI or you want like the nicety of showing this cool animation. You know, it's really personal. Do what feels best for your application. Uh, don't get me wrong, it looks absolutely fantastic and it looks like you gave a lot of care to attention and detail. Uh, but, you know, it could have its trade-offs, so just be mindful of that. So, if you enjoyed the video and haven't done so already, make sure to destroy the like button down below. Leave a comment if you have any video suggestions, if you have any questions or anything like that. I love hearing from you guys. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Lots of you guys watch consistently, but for some reason don't subscribe, so I super appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe so we can keep growing this together. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.